Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here welcome back to a brand new video today we'll be comparing new shoe emulator as well as spine emulator to find out which actually is the best nintendo switch emulator for android we'll be comparing pokemon sword on both these emulators and as for the new shoe emulator i'm using its latest version 0.7.5 so let's start with the best settings that i'm using inside these emulators in terms of graphics driver i'm using the mesa turnip adreno driver revision 22 which was released few days ago and in terms of advanced settings now a lot of the additional settings which were added previously have been removed and you will be able to see that limit speed percentage only goes up to 400% dock mode has been disabled graphics accuracy is set to normal and for today's testing we will be doing something experimental because new shoe emulator supports resolution scaling so we will be trying it out on the 0.25 resolution mode aspect ratio is 16 is to 10 disc shader cache force maximum clocks and asynchronous shaders have been turned on and in terms of debug native code execution is enabled and that's about it as for the settings settings of new shoe emulator now let me show you guys the settings of pine emulator if you guys don't know what this emulator is you can watch the setup video on the icard above it is basically the folk version of skyline as well as shadow emulator dock mode has been disabled in terms of enable sustained performance it has been disabled to get the best amount of performance possible show performance statistics is enabled and in terms of audio output it is set to auto we can even set it to null if we don't want audio output and few more fps but that is only recommended for very and android devices in terms of cpu backend it is using native code execution gpu driver configuration is set to mesa turnip driver revision 22 disable frame throttling has been turned on executor slot count scale is set to 6 plus threshold is default post maximum gpu clocks free cache texture memory has been enabled along with fast gpu readback and writes those are the best settings for both these emulators i have already imported the save file in both these emulators inside pokemon sword so let's just go ahead and tap on it and see how well does it actually perform perform there we go immediately instantly the game has successfully started and even though we have enabled stretch aspect ratio it is not covering the entirety of my screen and at the top left corner you will be able to see we are getting almost 143 fps which is mind blowing guys this is literally pokemon sword running at 1x graphics resolution no graphics resolution tuning has been done only thing is dock mode has been disabled but you'll be able to see the game is working flawlessly but as this is inside house scenario let's just go ahead and leave our house and see how well does it actually work in the open world areas which is most important and still i am pretty surprised we are getting almost 90 fps at the top left corner while emulating pokemon sword on a snapdragon 8 gen 2 android device now this comparison is going to be pretty fair because obviously as Pine Emulator is a folk version of Skyline Emulator, it does have some graphical issues in games like Pokemon Sword and if you are using dock mode and if you are playing on a massive tablet then you will be able to see that the textures are a bit pixelated. But once you turn on dock mode that should go away but that will also decrease the amount of FPS which you are getting. But still as I tell you guys always, Skyline Emulator is the best Nintendo Switch Emulator in terms of performance and optimization even on MediaTek process as we found out in my last video regarding Pine Emulator test on low-end devices and you will be able to see everything is being rendered properly storing all of this shader cache into its directory so that if we reopen our game we will get even better FPS so minimum requirements for emulating games like this should be Snapdragon 4 Gen 2 or above at least Pine Emulator and just take a look at this it looks absolutely amazing but the other issues for example this golden screen it still persists and the only fix for that is to fast travel to that location and if you fast travel then it will be successfully fixed anyways you will also be able to notice that some graphical issues obviously still persist like this one which you see right here which is pretty unfortunate but if you want an playable gameplay experience of pokemon sword i would recommend you guys to go with pine emulator but if you guys want a playable gameplay experience as well as no graphical issues whatsoever and bit more optimization then you can opt for new shoe emulator now i'm not talking about the other emulators that are present which are also folks of the old emulator because they have some crashing issues whereas new shoe is based on suyu so it doesn't really have any crash issue and in terms of 0.25 graphics resolution just take a look at this everything has been pixelated and we are still getting around 120 fps oh my god what am i actually playing guys i can't believe it anyways let's move forward and see this battle for ourselves you'll be able to notice that everything is being rendered properly though even if it is in 0.25 graphics resolution we are getting around 90 fps but anyways i'll just go and exit the emulation we want to actually go to open world area so there we go the game loading times are also super quick so there is no worrying about waiting in loading screen at least if you have an hand device and oh my god 
what is this abomination man like literally we are getting 30 fps and i can't even see what i am playing <laughs> so let me just go ahead and open settings let's go to graphics okay we can't modify the resolution here so we'll keep it fair i'll enable one x graphics resolution let's try it out once again and this time it looks playable and funnily enough the fps also increased by a little bit but you can see the difference in yourself the graphics are way more optimized like the shadows etc just take a look at this the cloud moving everything looks pretty amazing but once again the FPS which you'll see at the top left corner is around 33 so there is difference between FPS as well as graphics though if you only care about storyline then I do recommend you guys to go with the pine emulator and you will get a stable 30 FPS gameplay experience if you have an high end device inside the new shoe emulator for example snapdragon 8 gen 1 or above and you will be able to see the graphics just look way better than it was inside the pine emulator you will be able to see the game has started lagging now and it might be because my device is getting hot because I am using the overclocked version of new shoe emulator and that's the main reason why our game has started thermal throttling. If I just enable thermal indicator you will be able to see it says pretty hot. So in terms of conclusion let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think and which emulator would you prefer. An emulator that only works on high end android devices or an emulator which gives you best performance but it's not stable and doesn't have great compatibility. Do let me know in the comment section down below that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.